Did you know that before the Skylanders Netflix TV show, there was another Spyro animation pitch? Let's talk about it. What's up guys, Canadian Guy here, and back with a brand new video. Now, before we begin, I just want to give a quick background of myself before I became a YouTuber. I worked in the animation industry for two years when I was fresh out of college. I worked as an editor on a few kids shows that had gotten a season or two. Nothing too upscale, but nonetheless, I do have experience with it. Which leads me to the subject of today's video. Skylanders Academy was a show that was premiered on Netflix exclusively and had a reasonable amount of positive feedback. A lot of people, Spyro fans included, enjoyed the writing and what the show brought to the table, and especially Spyro's new Skylander design. But did you know, before Skylanders Academy, there was yet another Spyro pitch for animation. Now, let me be clear, this is not a cancelled animation. This is a pitch. This is how it works. A production company sees a piece of intellectual property that they feel that they could make an amazing product out of, like a game, a movie, or maybe a TV series. That company comes together to create an idea and a presentation to pitch that idea to the other company that actually owns the property. In this pitch, they tell the company how long it would take them, how much it would cost, the art direction, and give as much examples as possible. This can be drawings, test animation, renders, an example script, whatever they can muster together for the presentation. They also would show a demo reel of their previous work to try and impress the IP owner of what they can do. Part of my job was making those demo reels to try and impress other employers and possible intellectual property owners. However, Sometimes, the company that owns the property will alert other third parties that they want to create a certain piece of media for an IP that they own, whether it be a game, a movie, a book, TV show, whatever. And for those who are interested to put together a pitch, when this happens, this pitch is also called a bid. The third parties are all competing and bidding against each other to see who can make the better balance of the highest quality of animation, lowest cost, and quickest delivery. Whoever can balance that out the best usually gets the project. For every project that gets greenlit, there could be dozens of turned down pitches and bids. A good example of this is the crash and burn concept made by Big Red Button for Crash Bandicoot for his 20th anniversary. A pitch is not a cancelled project. A cancelled project is something that was greenlit and approved, but was ended partway through production. Now that we understand what the difference is between a pitch and a bid, and also a cancelled project, we can now talk about the user Fable Paint. Fable Paint had heard that Moonscoop, the company that they were working for at the time, was making a bid to Activision for a Skylanders show back in 2011. Fable Paint asked if they could go ahead and start sketching up some designs for the bid and pitch, and Moonscoop said sure. Fable Paint did a lot of research on Spyro's design and did a bunch of exploration of what Spyro could look like in this animated series. They decided to sketch up small and cute, big and mean, and everything in between. Fable Paint also came up with the idea that Cinder could be in the show and made a sketch sheet for her as well, interacting with Spyro. According to Fable Paint, the boss at the time liked Cinder and actually added her to the pitch towards Activision. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a historical Spyro video without some form of an artist rendition. As always, I hired Mel the Honeybee to see what a fully rendered version of this Spyro would look like. And this is what we came up with. I decided to go with a bit of a modern animation take with a palette similar to Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Spyro has always been seen as a 3D model, so I wonder what a 2D licensed animated Spyro would look like. But here is the million dollar question. What happened? Why did we never see this project get green lit back in the day? Well, honestly, it's a pretty lame reason. According to some, Back in 2011, Activision loved the premise of having a Skylanders TV show, but at the time, they were lacking, well, actual ideas and content for the show. They didn't really know where to go with it and how to work it into the game. So the project was kind of put on hiatus and canned. 
However, years later, after they actually got a decent enough ideas, Activision would produce Skylanders Academy, a 3D Netflix exclusive TV series, which overall did well. But I kind of wish though to see what a show with this Spyro and design would look like. Would you have liked to see what this show would look like? Comment below and let me know. Thank you so much to all those who not only support the channel, but myself and my family. Because of your contributions, I'm able to do this full time. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider clicking the join button or becoming a Patreon with the link in the description. I also live stream every Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on by and say hi. Again, thank you to everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video and or live stream.